I get to share a children's story with us today. There are not many children here, but I know there are some children at heart, and uh, we always have kids joining us. So my story today is about Lily and Jonathan and Cheerios. I am partial to fluffy white dogs. Some of you have met my little fluffy white dog. She is nine pounds. Lily was a fluffy white dog. We have a picture of her to share, but she was a lot more than nine pounds of fluffy. Lily was one of Jonathan's very best friends. Jonathan was the most enthusiastic children's offering picker-upper at the first church where I pastored. He wanted to make sure that everyone had a chance to give to the children's offering. And he loved to tell stories about Lily. Jonathan was quite small when his family got Lily. And Lily quickly figured out that Jonathan dropped Cheerios. And she would sit near Jonathan whenever she had a chance so that she could get some Cheerios. In this picture, his little chubby cheeks are probably full of Cheerios, and he's holding a tube of Cheerios, and you can see that Lily is not straying very far away from him. She's sticking there for Cheerios. If you pulled out a box of Cheerios, Lily could smell it from far away, and she would come running. Lily lived a good long life, and a few years ago, Lily sadly died. And Jonathan texted me. He was quite a bit bigger than he is in that picture by this point. And he texted me to tell me that uh, they had had to say goodbye to Lily. And uh, we were chatting back and forth, and he was remembering how much she loved to eat Cheerios. And he said, Pastor Macy, do you think there will be Cheerios in heaven for Lily? And I said, well, Jonathan, what do you think? And he said, I think that the Lily and Cheerios will both be in heaven because God knows the things that make our hearts happy. In Psalm 37, verses 3 and 4, it says, Trust in the Lord and do good. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your hearts. Things like fluffy white dogs and lots of Cheerios. Today, Pastor Juan is giving us another sermon in his series about Joseph. And we get to learn about how Joseph's father came to Egypt and rediscovered his beloved son, one of the desires of his heart. I am so glad that we have a God who cares about Cheerios and who knows what will make us joyful and happy in him and that he wants to give us all the good things, all the desires of our hearts. I hope you have a wonderful day and that you remember that Jesus wants to be your friend just like Lily was Jonathan.